Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jason here with a little bit of a demo for of a, a new game, or I should say a demo of a game that's new on the channel called Terra Nil. It's, it, this is a different type of game. I really enjoy it. It's a very relaxing, soothing, calming game, which is really, really cool. Really, really nice. The music reminds me of Minecraft, so that helps out a lot. But it is a reverse city builder. So basically, you go into a wasteland and you have to turn it green again. So you're putting down, you know, you're trying to help the soil. You're trying to plant seeds. You're doing all this kind of stuff. So let's jump into it. Might not be your thing, but I really, really dig it. It's really, really cool. So let's play this demo. And... If you're out there on Steam, it's not on a uh, console right now. It's only on Steam as far as I know. So on PC and there's no release date for the game itself. It's just the demo and release date pending 2022. Maybe I don't know. So welcome to Terra Nil. Your goal is to rejuvenate this wasteland by covering the landscape and greenery. So you can kind of zoom out. And it is randomly generated, so this will this will look different than yours. They randomly generate like this, is like a, a river bed, but there's nothing here. It's all wasteland, and you have to start somewhere. So you have to put down some power so you can start uh, regenerating the soil. So let's start over here. I put power right here, and you'll see there's a big grid on where it'll power. There it is. And so now what we can do is we have to put down a toxin scrubber has to be within the uh, power grid. So you can go out right on the edges a little bit. I like to go as far as I can like this. That way you can kind of cover the most area. It's just soothing, relaxing, do like that. And so you just need to, and there's no like power limit, like as many as you can put on there, you can put on there. You don't have to worry about, oh, I can only have this much power or whatever. Done. And also, to fill up the water, you have to get a uh, water pump. So we can pop it in here. It has to be next to the power because it needs to be powered as well. But there you go. And it starts refilling. It, doesn't, it only goes over a certain area, so you're going to need to put up, you know, more than one water pump. But yeah, look at it. Look how green it looks now. Oh, that looks beautiful. All right. And again, down here at the bottom left-hand side, you see my little leaf? I have 761. That is basically like your money. You only have 761 to uh, spend. And every one of these technologies at the bottom of the screen, they cost. So let's see if we can put another one out here. And we're going to scrub like right here. Yep, perfect. I want to try to overlap as much as possible. Not, not as much as possible, but I want to be able to, you know put up a whole bunch of good, you know, re plant seed and all that kind of stuff. There we go. We'll do this. That way it's all green. And then we'll put another water pump over here. There you go. You see it just fills up. That is so cool. Look at that. Yes. All right. Then we could do one over here. Kind of just, you know, try to, to hit the whole area. Uh, right there. That should be good, right? There you go. So now there's no, like, barren spots. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to cover as much as I can. You know, as possible, anyway. And you don't want to run out of room. So the way you earn your money back is by planting seed by using the irrigator. And you can kind of, you know, like that one's an L. You can kind of rotate it and get different shapes. And you're basically just trying to get the best shape for the area. And you, you see it says plus 131. So now I'm going to get 131 leaves back from that. Oh, that yeah, looks so good. I love the graphics in this game. It is so cool. Let's do another one over here. Yeah, there you go. So now we've earned some money back. So now we can plant some more. Let's do some more scrubbers over here. Just soothing, relaxing. 
There's no stress. Just, hey, try to, you know, scrub as much as you can. And your goal is to get, you see that bottom left-hand side of the screen? I'm at 19%. So I've refilled 19% of the area in my map. You're trying to get to at least 100%. <laughs> and I say at least, you'll see why later on. Yeah, look at we got a, we got a pretty good area going on over here. Let's put another scrubber oh right there. There we go. We're good. Let's put another. And you know, you just try to find the best way to irrigate. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Now we're now we're talking. Now, I've noticed that, yeah, you can't put power too close together, so this one is now, I can't use this one, even though I could, because you just need that stone rocky area to put down your power. For whatever reason, you can't put them too close together. That's unfortunate, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Got that. That'll be good. We got a lot of river space on this map. I like it. So the uh, the water is really, really easy because you just put like a little water pump and you're good. So let's pop one down. And it'll refill some of this. So cool. All right. Let's put another one down. So I think we can put one over here. Oh, yeah, just barely. We have one little square. There you go. Oh, look at all that water. That's crazy. Now, the other thing you can do, once you have water down, you can put down a calcifier, and that'll make stones. You see that green little outline? It'll make stones there. That way you can put another power source if you want a wind uh, turbine. Let's put that one right there. So now we can put more wind turbine, wind power over here. And we can irrigate. And I'm just trying to get every square inch. Oh, I didn't do that one right. Oh, dang it. Let's see. Let's go back. So you can actually go back with the bottom of your toolbar. You can go back and take it back. So I just reversed my last move, basically. Yeah, I forgot. I didn't get all the way over here. So let's do that. That way it gets all this stuff too. Yeah, we still have missing down here, but that's okay. Get over here. Yes. Oh, now we need to make more greenery because I only have 56 left and it cost 54 an irrigator. So let's do that real quick. Get some money back. There we go. Done and done. Ah, yeah, see, we're losing some strips in there, but that's okay. Let's put some more in here. Oh, we got to go down here, so we're going to have to go... Oh, I can't put it... Yeah, we'll do this. That's a better one. Yeah, there you go. That should be good. Oh yeah, now we're at, we're almost halfway through making all the greenery, and this is not it. There's there's way more you can do with this game other than just making it green. You can make a forest, you can make like a meadow. It's really really in depth, way more in depth than I ever thought it was going to be. So I'm just trying to get some money that way I can start irrigating some more areas. Oh, I should have. Oh well, you know what? That's okay. Here we go. There we go, like that one, that one, the L, that'll work. Yeah! Let's put uh, another irrigator down here. Need the power. There you go. Beautiful. Let's put some, uh, let's put some power over here. Oh uh, yeah, see, we're, we won't be able to get to that spot, but I'll, I can show you a solution for that as well. But now that we have power, what we can do, we have this excavator. It needs power to, to run, but 
what you can do is it basically just makes a, a riverbed wherever you aim it. So, what we want to try to do... Maybe... No, that's not going to be far enough. Um... Yeah, see, we're trying to... Let's do that. Right there. Boom! And so there you go. Now we can put... Some power... Oh, we don't have any... Oh, no! No, no, not that one. Sorry. Water pump. There we go. And then we can put a calcifier on it. That way, we can put some power over there. Oh, we're going to need to make some more greenery. Sorry, guys. Let's put some more greenery in here. Uh-oh. I might be out of moves. Uh-oh. Now we can make... We can put some over here, so let's see. Uh, plus 31. Okay, we'll do that. We're going to need to put another water pump over here because it, it makes grass for you, so you're good. There we go. Ooh, man, all our waterways are almost filled. I love that. All right, so now we can put some more excavators over here. Let's max it out as much as we can. There we go. Ah, we can't go that far up though. Ah, we'll 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 make it work. We'll make it work. There we go. There we go. That work. That's looking pretty good, right? We'll hit that one. There you go. There we go there. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Put a calcifier over here so we can put some power down. Ah, we're still miss missing that patch up there. That's going to drive me crazy. And that's that's the uh, the hard part is just trying to figure out how to how to place everything that way you can get the maximum amount of greenery in your map. That's actually really good. All right, we need to make some green. There we go. There we go. See, and we, we hit 100% even though the map isn't 100%. You've successfully re repopulated this wasteland with plant life. Now increase the biodiversity of the ecosystem by restoring three biomes. Okay, press the two tab. So now we have different biomes here, which is really awesome. But we could also just, if we wanted to, just keep going with our green stuff and make everything. We could cover every square inch. And I would recommend you do that because it is hard to get biodiversity if you don't have the whole map kind of, you know, grassed up, greened up. So we're gonna we're gonna spread out some more. And then what we can do is Oh no, we can't even buy that. Oh no! Uh oh. I'm out of money. I only have 40. What can I do? What can I do here? We have trees. So we have a seed right here. The beehive. If you plant that on a tree, it'll turn everything around it into a meadow for bees. So let's find a good tree yeah, down here. That's good. Perfect. There you go. Boom. And there you go. Look at that meadow all around there. Perfect. So we're going to need to make some more green grass around here. Can I? Anything around here? Oh, yeah, I can. Right there. And let's do that. That way I can put some more green grass. And 
And I'm purposely putting this by the uh, waterfront because you need to make swamp land and you can only make swamp land next to the water. So that's why that was there. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Should put a calcifier right here. Oh, but no, no, no. We can't do that. We need to make some more green. There we go. Ah, right there, boom. Beautiful. God, it's just nice and relaxing. It is really, really cool. It is a really awesome game. Some more greenery going over here. We need to get some power over here, too. So let's put another one right there. Can I? Yep, perfect. We're going to need to make another beehive around here. So you see the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. You have your meters. My meadows are almost halfway up there. So let's see if we can make more. There we go. Love it. So now, let's get some more of this going. One more. I think we got a majority of this. Yeah, majority of it. As much as we could, probably. All right. Get some of this going. Right there. And I know you, there's going to be someone out there who's like, you know, you're not doing the optimum spray all over the place. That's okay. You know what? That's the beauty of this. You can do it however you want. There we go. We'll do this. All right. So we've gotten some meadow out there. But we can also, we need to get this uh, research center, which makes, it reduces the cost of scrubbers, pumps, calcifiers. Okay, so I should have put this out earlier. That way it reduces the cost of everything. Dang it, but I wasn't paying attention. We put another uh, beehive right here and make some more meadow. Beautiful. And let's make some, uh, oh, no, no, sorry, meadow right here. So I think we're doing pretty good, right? Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We need to make some power over here, though. We need to get some of this going. Oh, yeah, we also need to pop the excavator. Like right that. Boom. Now it does kill some of your your uh, the background stuff. So behind it you will find it, it, it's just some really bad stuff there. But that's okay. I'm going to put some power here. But now we're going to clean up some of this stuff. There we go. Beautiful on that one. We can do one more, right? Yeah, one more. And then we're going to have to put some greenery down. There we go. Beautiful. Just soothing, relaxing. Put some more greenery down like that. There we go. Okay. So we've basically covered almost everything. I mean, there are some spots that are just going to drive me crazy, but that's okay. We'll get to those a little bit later. So once you've done your meadows, the way you can make forest is you have to burn down your meadows. Let's pop one of these down. You have a, a dish you can put down. And then this uh, solar amplifier has to work with the desecrator. And once you put it down, it will burn anything in that area. So actually, let's put it over here. That way it burns the center island. 
and we could turn this into a forest area. So it won't go beyond the water, you know, the water. So you're good to go on that, but it burns everything. I mean, look at that. It just burned everything. So that whole island just burned down, but that's okay because now we can put down a uh, Arboretum. Oh, no, we can't because I only have 59. Oh, God. I need more money. Um, how do we make a, a meadow somewhere? We have another tree I haven't hit yet. Oh, God. No, we, ha we don't. I'm looking for a tree. Looking for a tree. Uh-oh. I think we might be, uh, we might be screwed on this. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to try to put some water in. Let's see if we can make some water. And if it would do anything. Oh god, we don't have any power over here. And that'll give us a little bit more, but not enough. Hmm. What else can we do? Yeah, let's put that down here. Okay. The, the other thing I can think of is we can make some swamp land. So, a hydroponium, you can only put it on the uh, in the incinerators that are next to, or the, uh, what are these called? <laughs> Can't even remember. The irrigators, you can only put them on the irrigators that are next to the water. They have to be connected to the water in order to turn it into swamp land. There you go. So that's why some of these I was purposely putting on the edge of the water. That way, we could turn it into swamp land. Let me pop this one right here. Yeah, there you go. And swamp land. So now we've gotten a good amount of swamp land. Holy cow. A lot more than I thought we were going to get. Right here. Boom, there you go. There it is. So now we've gotten our swamp land covered. And our meadows covered, but we need forest areas. So that's where this comes in. The Arboretum. You have to put it over the ashes that you burned, basically. So let's do that one first. So now we have a good green forested area in the middle. Put another one over here. There we go. And the better part is you get trees like that. So what you can do is you can put seeds on the trees and turn it into meadows around it. So, which is really, really cool. You can extend your, your meadows way beyond what you thought they were going to be. Now, the issue is we need to make some more uh, forest land. So, we need to burn. But if you burn, it will burn the whole thing. So, oof. Let's see. Maybe we can burn this area right here. So let's pop down a, a dish. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Pop down a dish somewhere easy to get to. Come on. Right there. And then we'll put our awesome uh, desecrator right here. Now I'm hoping it just burns this middle area right here, but oh god. I wasn't paying attention, so come on. Only burn this area. Oh, it might burn all the way down here. Oh, God. Hopefully, it stops right over here. Cool. Okay, good. Woof. Burned itself out right there. Good. Oh, we still need some more forested area. Holy cow. I'm trying to think. Where's a good... Okay, right here. Because you see there's an edge on here, we can probably get away with just burning that little tiny bit. So... Let's try it. And so it'll just burn this area, it'll stop. I don't think it'll burn the wasteland, so you should be okay. Yeah, perfect. Let's put some Arboretum- Oh no, we need to make some more! Oh god. So let's put down some more seed or some more, uh, beehive. Nope. Negative two. Negative 11. We got to make more, not less. Oh, God. What about way down here? Yeah, this should work, right? 
Oh yeah, there you go. Another beehive. <laughs> Zero. I don't want a net negative. I want a net positive. Here we go. And then we can put down our arboretum up here. There we go. Well, wait, 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 this one? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. With biodiversity restored, we can begin the process of cleaning up. You need to construct an airship of recycled materials. You've also been given access to advanced weather technology. All right, so now we have to pick up all the stuff that we put down. All these, like, uh, the scrubbers and everything. We got to pick those up and take them away. But first, bottom right-hand corner, you see that we have our climate. We have to reach the target, which is this circle over here. So we have our temperature right, but we need our uh, precipitation. Precipitation. I can't speak. We need to get that one all the way over here. So we need to make it more wet. Humidity pylon. So we're going to add that. And if you put it next to your uh, your swamp land, you actually get more uh, precipitation, more rain. So we're good on all of that. So we need more. So we're going to need to pop that over here. You see you get 14%. And you see that, that green X, it tells you where it's going to be. So I, that's about where we need to be. So let's pop that one down. And now we're going to be more, more wet and it should start storming. There you go. Look at that. So now we're perfect. This is where we need to be, but we need to clean up all of our, our tech that we dropped off. So. What we have to do is put down our uh, airship. This is what's going to carry away all of our stuff. So pop that down. We also need to get some hovercraft or a recycling drone. This is what's going to pick it all up. Oh, yeah, look at that green. It's starting to... And see how it, when it rains, it'll get rid of all your wasteland. So all the little tiny squares that we couldn't get to, it'll actually fix those. So that is awesome. So now we're good. Everything will be green. So now we have our recycler solo or silo. Let's pop this down and it'll pick up all the technology and all the bad stuff that we put down within the circle around it. So boom, picked up all of our stuff. And because it's rainy, it'll fill in all those green or all that wasteland. But the problem is these silos have to be close to the water because that's where your hovercraft can go. So you need to, uh, you can use another silo to pick up the previous silo. Boom. That way they're closer to where you need to be. And you can just pick up everything. I love it. Look at this. So much fun. I love it. It's so cool. All right. So once you've picked up a lot of stuff, you have to put down a loading dock. And, oh, come on. There it is right there. And you see it has a green square or green circle. That's, it'll only pick up the silos that are within that circle. So we need to make it more worth it let's do this real quick let's uh grab that all right so this should there you go right there i hit both of those there we go and yeah we're just basically picking up all of our stuff that we put down wait a minute what You've run out of resources. Press here to restart. No, 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 no. Let's go back then. No, no, we didn't run out of resources. Look at that. We're at 237. We're not out of resources. They're just acting crazy. All right. So let's put this one down. Pick up all this stuff. So you will get some money back from recycling all of your stuff. So that's why you want to try to put them wherever you can to get the most in one shot. Let's get that one. All right, now we can put one right here. Yep, perfect. And we'll get these two. So we'll be good to go. We'll pick up all that stuff. Oh, we still need to pick up that one over there. But we have all this stuff we need to pick up over here too. 
There we go. Picking up all that. Beautiful. Can I put a dock over here? I can. So let's do that. And then we'll put one right here to pick up that one. So as our hovercraft comes over here. There we go. Boom. Picked it all up at once. 250. Oh, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. So nice. Yeah, seriously. Most relaxing game I've played in a long time. That'll get both of those. All right, just wait for it. Give me all my stuff back. There we go. Beautiful. This stuff. Here's another storm. I love it. Got this. We're about to pick up that one. We're about to pick up that one. Oh, yeah. We still have our one little guy over here. We need to pop this one. And there we go. So now we just have to wait for our uh, our little raft to go get all this stuff. God, listen to that. I can go to sleep listening to this game. So nice. Oh, we have one over here too. Crap, I didn't even think about this one. There we go. Didn't grab that one. So we've picked up all our technology. So now it's time to take off. Now that we've fixed this section, we are all good to go. So now we can launch over here at the bottom left-hand side. I love that sound. It's the rain coming down and the thunder. So nice. So we've done it. We've we've claimed, reclaimed the wasteland. Ah. We have bears. We have deer running around. Continue. And it's really, really cool because that's just one, like, little biome. It looks like you can do a ton of different stuff. Look at that. Very cool, very fun. And it's randomly generated. If I started up again, it'd be a whole different setup. 
And so it's really, really fun to do. Hopefully you guys love that because I love it. It's a really calm, relaxing game. You're just trying to, to make the world green. It's really, really cool looking. So hopefully you guys like it. Go wishlist it all over on uh, Steam right now. Not out yet. There's no official date, but hopefully you guys are interested. Hopefully you guys go wishlist it at least, you know, just to get your uh, reminder when it comes out. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.